Wine living doesn't always have to be about wine. We can talk about spirits too. In fact, today's quick sip is about a very polarizing spirit. People either love it or they hate it. It's gin. Gin has been around for a really long time. The Dutch invented it in the Middle Ages as a health tonic. What exactly is gin? Well, we can start by taking a look at the name. It's derived from a Dutch word, jenever, which literally means juniper. That's right, that medicinal, herbal, sometimes piney scent that people either love or hate, that comes from the juniper berry. How do those characteristics get into the glass? Well, gin is essentially a vodka with added flavors. It's distilled from a grain like wheat or barley, and in the process, they add what are known as botanicals, herbs and spices. The main botanical in gin is always gonna be juniper, but gin brands have very closely guarded recipes where they use anywhere from 30 to 40 different ingredients. Some go heavier on the juniper, some use ingredients like coriander and fennel. Brands like Hendrix even use cucumbers. How do people figure this stuff out? While we're here, we should talk about the martini. So many people use vodka, but a true martini is made with gin. Chill your glass really well beforehand. Use two parts gin with one part really dry vermouth. Put them into a shaker with ice and stir it. Don't shake it. You can garnish it with some olives or a twist of lemon, or both if you want to get fancy. By the way, since gin uses all of those lovely botanicals, you can make some great cocktails using herbs like rosemary or thyme. You should try it sometime. Love it or hate it, I hope you learned a little something more about Jennifer. Enjoy your gin, and that's your quick sip for the week. Cheers.